Uh, thank you for joining anyone who's here. And as I understood, the meeting uh, is going to be recorded and you can uh, see it later on if you want to. Um, actually, I am substituting uh, Mrs. Helle Simon, who's the actual uh, master's degree program manager or program director, if you prefer that. And uh, I tried to give a short uh, information about master's degree and, and some, some hints how to work with uh, our systems and so on. So I tried to share my screen. So in principle, you should find uh, any information you need uh, on the university page. And I'm not sure if you can see it in the Zoom here. Let me put some other slide here. So <clears throat> this is the first. Uh, address I suggest you to check. This, this is the University uh, of Tartu page for material science and technology. Uh, if you type it in, then you should arrive uh, on a page, which looks like this one here. And uh, As I understood, most of the information a student needs to know about this course uh, and then to come here in Estonia, find a, a place to stay and so on, uh, all the information is gathered on this page. You can find the link here. Um, and and I showed those uh, a bit later. But first, as you can see on this page, uh, there are some dates you should know. The admission dates are uh, from the 2nd of January. This, this means actually that uh, you can uh, apply for the position in uh, in the master's degree program uh, right now. And uh, the end is 15th of March and you sh should get your uh, results and uh, decisions at the end of April. And of course, the academic year starts from the 2nd of uh, September. Uh, here you can see a link to to apply and uh, some short information about the tuition fee and and uh, how much points the course includes and so on. General information about the the uh, master studies in material science and technology. Some information about uh, some information about uh, uh, studies and and background uh, you can find also here. Uh, <clears throat> the explanation of the program is also here. Uh, what I'd like to point out here is that. Uh, it's in material science and technology program. We are not only focusing on the science part and the technology part, we, but we also try to encourage students to start their own uh, companies and and so on. But it's not obligatory. Of course, you can work in a lab or something like that afterwards, as as your career choice. Uh, what I wa want to talk about a bit more is uh, the courses. Uh, you can find the courses here. Uh, for management of courses we, we give in uh, the University of Tartu, we have a system called Study Information System. If you open it, If you open it, you get another page, uh, I think, or at least I hope it is uh, 
public available, but maybe maybe it's not. I think it is because it's linked linked to the public uh, web page of the university. So, uh, as a contact, you can see here the program director is given as Hella Simon. Uh, Actually, the, um, only a few days ago, uh, we got bad news about her, and and uh, today I'm trying to substitute her. And if you need to, if you need to contact someone, I right now would suggest to uh, to write to me. Uh, and please put Hella Simon as a copy receiver of your email, so. Uh, even though I might not be uh, the program manager in, in the future, I can still uh, uh, send your emails uh, to the people uh, needed. So uh, we have the general description of the course, uh, what should be the outcomes of your uh, studies, uh, what degree you get, and uh, the classifications. And if you click, uh, if you take a select version, for instance, if you select, let's say, 22, 23 here, you find uh, the courses given during that period. Again, you get the description of the courses, but what you additionally get here is specifically the, uh, the lists of the courses. For instance, the development of materials, one and two, and so on. And you can check all the courses here. Uh, if you open the links, uh, of the courses, you can uh, get to the web pages, which give you a quite a bit more uh, detailed information about uh, the course itself and and what uh, are, what topics are discussed and and studied in there. So, as you can see, uh, about. 30 points is given, uh, uh, is about 30 points are assigned for the material science module. And quite a lot, 15 points is uh, reserved for entrepreneurship uh, module. Uh, additionally, we have uh, courses you should select, 24 points. Uh, you can check all the uh, all, all the uh, course information here yourself, hopefully. Uh, a few things here, for instance, on analytical chemistry, for instance, energy storage, uh, it's a hot topic today, I think, fuel cells, batteries, and so on, um, most structural materials. And and so on. So here you have to take uh, altogether twenty four points. Uh, then there is some room uh, for total optional courses. This can be anything around uh, from our uni university or even uh, from another university or something like that. And in total, in six points. And uh, I think it's. Uh, obligatory to have some practical work done in, in a lab or somewhere. Usually uh, uh, students prefer labs, but uh, also companies or something, uh, institutions which deal with some material science or development of materials and so on. And the final thing is your master's, uh, master's thesis. And for that, you should get as fast as possible if you start studies here in a lab. Uh, you can select a topic probably based on your background and your skills or your interests and uh, start working with your uh, thesis material as, as fast as you can. 
this is my suggestion. There are some students who start uh, the work uh, uh, during the last year, but usually it's it's a bit better uh, work after all if you if you start immediately. Another thing I would like to point out here, actually, before you actually apply uh, to our studies, uh, to master's uh, program, I would just, uh, suggest you to check the information study system again, uh, but this time to not uh, uh, take the material science and technology um, curriculum but uh, let's select curricula and level of study, bachelor studies. I recommend you to check the uh, Estonian, Estonian version of the material science modules. So let me show you. Here it is called, called uh, physics, chemistry, and material science. So, yeah, again, have to select uh, some time period. For instance, uh, let's so take again 22, 23 year. And here you can see basically the same things you saw for the material, uh, master's uh, uh, program. Why I'm showing it to you is that uh, if you check the uh, courses given in our bachelor's degree level. Uh, you have obligatory base uh, module here. And for instance, again, if you click on the on the course title, you get a specific web page about the course. But uh, what I recommend you is to analyze how much you actually know about these things. So if your background is more in food processing, maybe this is not something that coincides very well uh, with a, a program. We at least expect the students uh, have uh, finished before master's degree studies. So uh, you can see calculus, uh, computer programming, statistics, and, and so on. Uh, so please, before you apply, Try to check it, uh, and then uh, this might help you to analyze your situation and so on. And the basic reason why I do it and recommend it is that uh, it doesn't mean that you can't apply for the master programs uh, here, but if your background information and background studies have not uh, uh, so much similar similarity with our uh, programs, then you might need to put in some additional work to get uh, in line with others. So over the years, there have been several students who can do that, but most of students can't do that. So this is the recommendation. Just check, uh, make sure, or be ready to work very hard. Usually, if a student works very hard, uh, he or she will uh, finish anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, a um, few more things about uh, studies. Um, uh, here we have uh, the Institute, uh, Institute of Physics, but uh, here we don't have images about uh, uh, next door building, which is the Institute of Chemistry, and another uh, another building, uh, Institute Institute of Technology. So, uh, mostly master students work in in these buildings. Um, I think information about uh, what specifically one or the other lab does in in the institute is it in the physics uh, department or chemistry department. It's not uh, written in this web page, and uh, I don't think you can find it here. But that's uh, why I uh, recommend to write to me, for instance, if you have some specific uh, questions. For instance, do we work with lithium-ion batteries? I can uh, check if anyone is uh, working with this area. 
if you're any interested in. So if the answer comes out yes, then probably you have a instantly lab where to work. And that's probably also good. Uh, career opportunities. Here, the description is very short, and I think uh, that's quite reasonable because the career opportunities depend on the person very much. If you want to go, you can uh, go and study at PhD level. You can continue with uh, creating your own company or just start work somewhere. Else. And then what actually comes out of uh, your career is up to you. So there's no point in uh, trying to write down every opportunity people could have. And I think lastly, admission requirements. Um, you can see you should have motivation letter and admission interview. Afterwards, if the motivation letter is looks at least to the commission who evaluates these, uh, if it looks quite okay and so on, then probably you get the invitation for an interview. And after that, uh, I think those uh, 13th of April, you should get your uh, confirmation if you are accepted or your application has been uh, not accepted. And I think as much I scrolled and, and looked uh, here at the information and, and so on, I think everything is written in the in the web page or linked at least to the web page is required uh, to finalize your application and, and give you enough information about uh, the courses and, and so on. Uh, here you have uh, several links, for instance, frequently asked questions about so living in Estonia, for instance. Let's see if I can find the page yeah, from here. So here you have quite a lot of information to set you a start going in, in, in uh, Tartu, for instance. Uh, you have several checklists, for instance. Uh, you have uh, contacts uh, of the support personnel who uh, work with uh, students from abroad. So. I think you should have all the information here about visas and, and housing and so on and so on. So uh, check the web pages here uh, before you start uh, writing to me, for instance. Uh, probably I'm not the best person about to discuss uh, problems related to visa or something like that. Uh, but uh, I think if I open the contact page, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't load as, as fast as I supposed to. Uh, I told you. So uh, anyway, uh, I recommend you to uh, browse the web page about material science and uh, technology. Uh, if you need any specific information about scientific topics we have in, in our buildings and uh, what areas we're working on, you can write to me and then keep uh, Hela uh, Simon as a second recipient of the, your email. Uh, probably she will not answer, but um, still she would like probably to have the copy. And yeah. Just, uh, use to see um, uh, this uh, web page to get your information. So I'm not sure if anyone saw me, anyone heard me, uh, are there any questions or not? But uh, let's see what comes out of it. Probably if there are no 
questions or something like that. I think we could conclude the meeting and, and finalize it.